All right. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever the order of that was. Welcome back to Final Fantasy IV The After Years. We are now back in the present. Um, where Perome now needs to make her own journey and figure out what she's going to do because Paloma was sent on a mission. Um, go ahead and like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, let's go ahead and continue forward. Um, I have no idea what's coming, but we're going to go... Oh yeah, we're headed to Mount Ordeal. Okay. Okay, so before we go... Dude, seriously? I don't want to talk to you. I want you out of my way. Thank you. So we're going to come in here, we're going to sell... We're going to sell a lot of stuff that I'm not going to use, and we're going to buy some stuff. That's not worth selling, that's not worth selling. Before I do anything, let's go to see what Wait. Do you have anything worth buying? I should have sold the Thunder Rod. So we're gonna buy that, we're gonna buy that, we're gonna buy that. We're gonna go look at armor now. So let's see, we're going to sell some stuff. Okay, so that's better. That's crazy. Whatever. Well, that was a waste of money. My bad. I didn't know. We have enough.
I'm trying, guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. So close. Oh, that's still not enough, but hold on. We're close. I'm going to get this done. Probably went a little overkill, but okay. Wait. No, nope, we're good. Holy arrows will do good where we're going. You want to be about level 20. Oh, you want to be around level 24, so give me a second, I'll be right back. Uh, how annoying. Alright, welcome back. I got them all up to... Paroma up to level 25. She learned a couple new things. Uh, Black Mage, White Mage. Um, to level 19, but they're about to level up. So let's go ahead and start making our way to Mount Ordeal. Yeah, I think it's this way. Alright, they both leveled up to 20. That's their max, I believe. Alright, we should come this way. That was three Domovoys and three Gatlin Hogs. The last one was two Domovoys and a Gatlin Hog. So that's kind of what we're fighting here a lot. It should be right here. Alright. That was three skeletons and two blood bones. Three zombies and three two race. That was crazy how fast I got into a fight. Should be an either. Three more skeletons and two more blood bones. Got a psycho spiral. Are you zombies and two a uh, revenant? Skeletons, two blood bones, and a wraith. Three wraiths and a revenant. So it wasn't zombie, it was those guys. All right. Okay, nothing on this one but the exit. The spirit, two souls, two blood bones. Okay. The Sage's Miter. Blinding Arrows. Okay, we got something new here, a Necrodium. Like just beating him by the way. All right, that was a lot. Okay. Ooh, we got a Skeleton Ripper.
All right. We're gonna go ahead and use a cottage because why not? Souls, I think it was. Souls, a revenant, and a wraith. What's that? I don't feel anything. Uh, I can hear something. It's fading fast like it can disappear at any moment. It's a voice, one I feel I've known before. I don't know if you can hear me whispering. If not, I'm sorry. They were whispering there. What? Where are we? What a mess. Wait, could this be the place where King Cecil the Baron became a paladin? And the place where Sage Tella learned the forbidden meteor magic as well? Oh, gentle white mage. I am about to fade. What? But my spirit will never be extinguished. My sons have always believed in you, and now... That voice. Cecil's father. And father to all who study magic. Okay. Uh oh Whoa, that's a lot of people. Look at all of them. We're hopelessly outnumbered. The Dragoon from Baron, the one the Cecil and his group trusted. Have I seen you before? I am Perrone, White Mage of Messidia. A White Mage. Do you remember me? I came here to find you by order of our elder. To find me? What for? I see. At this rate, Baron could be in danger soon as well. But tell me, what reason do I have to help you? What? Baron ceased to be a part of my life a very long time ago. That can't be true. Pardon? You're lying. You're lying to me and to yourself. Am I wrong? No. Then please. Let's go. Baron awaits. Oh, he changed his mind really quick. All right, so Kane is awesome. That's that's it. Um, uh, he's exactly what we need in this team. He's a physical attacker. So he comes at level 25 with 1100 HP, which is amazing. Set a strong mithril equipment and good stats. He has MP but no band abilities or other skills to expand on. His special ability is jump, which is pretty decent. Um, <sighs> Alright, give me one second, be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna explain this. I gotta level up one more time. Um, and this is going to sound really, really crazy, but I'm going to actually have my characters kill themselves off. I know that sounds weird, but my white mage and my black mage have to die. Um, the reason for that is because the experience in all fights are split between all party members. So they can no longer level up. So they are no longer useful. Uh, we need to level up... <clears throat> 
we need to level up um, Kane to level 30. Okay. Um, so in order to do that, I got to go ahead and kill the two Chocobo. So um, I'm going to do it off screen. I'm going to come back with a much stronger party. Okay. So I was going to go ahead and leave the mountain, but then I ran into this. So I want to show you this before you get there. What? Plume. We need to go. I know, I heard his voice. Okay, that was, most, I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom down this mountain with y'all. All right, that was two souls and two rays. Man, the uh, counter rate in this game. All right, that was, I don't remember, that was Wraith and stuff. That was your typical bad guys, all right. I think we're gonna finish this now. That was two. Those were the needle rats and the other ones. The ones that were just like the needle rats but different color. Gatling hogs. That's what those are called. Uh, that was a couple Delma boys and Gatling hogs. There's three cockatrices in a zoo. There's two Gatling hogs and two needle hogs. Needle rats, not needle hogs. That was three Delma boys, three. Gatling Hogs. Oh my god. Same exact fight. Alright. What? No! Kane. We're too late. We have to find the Elder quickly. Okay, so... You want to start these fights? They all give pretty good experience, but there's actually some that are goblin captains that even give more. These guys. They give you 1,900 experience for the entire party. And they're not that strong. So, you know, good experience. Take it. Okay. Oh, it's a Chimera. was a jammer. It's not anything anymore. Okay, these guys might be a little bit dangerous. Not really, though. Still golem. Is he dangerous? He could be. I mean, that worked. I was about to heal, but. Y'all didn't see that. Continue board. Hold on, hang in there. Perone, the elder. Okay. Is this a boss? We got a blood eye. This guy could be a little bit dangerous. But with the white mages, we should be fine. What's he weak to? Uh... Let's hit him with Byron and see what that does.
That's probably the most annoying thing he does. That was decent. Bizarro. So the fire ride did like 200. First one was supposed to be question marks. Oh well. Chrome, you've returned safely. Elder. The monsters, they appeared from the Devil's Road. Then Baron's already been overrun. Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. Woo, hello. I fear it is already too late. No, it can't be. Where is Kane? Right here. We stand below the Twin Moons once more. As we speak, your homeland of Baron has fallen into the hands of monsters. And next, Mysidia. They're after the crystals. So it appears. Who could be sending them here? I cannot say. Well, you should. I need to see Baron for myself. Elder, I too will go to Baron. Don't. Cade. Where are you going? Baron is my homeland. Scratch my ball. Ah. Uh oh. Who are you? Even if I told you, you wouldn't comprehend it. You're the one who unsealed the Devil's Road, aren't you? Yes, to retrieve the crystal. Retrieve? Yes. Hold it, you. Elder. Those who lust for power must never lay hands on the crystal. Never again. I don't need your permission. Okay, so this is a scripted battle. We've seen how these go, so hold on. Let me see what I gotta do here. Um, you wanna uh, cast a haste and berserk on Paul Rome. <laughs> and berserk. We just gotta survive this, and that's probably gonna be it. Rama, why are you doing this?
And that's the end. No! Elder! What did he just do? Oh, he warped us out. Elder, no! How meaningless. You! Wait. Kane. Is this what you're looking for? This is it, the real thing. It's yours. Wait, Kane. A wise choice. On one condition, though. What? I'll give it to you only after I finish what I set out to do. And what is that? An audience with the King of Baron. For what purpose? To take his life, I will kill Cecil with my own hands. Understood. Bring the crystal with you. Kane. Oh, he just jumped away. Elder. Charlie, I'm almost done, buddy. Hold on. Charlie. Charlie, I love you too. He's giving me a hug, guys. You can't see it, but it's adorable. Yes, my dog hugs me. Palome. Lift your head. There you go. And that's my ear you're sniffing, buddy. Entirely. <laughs> that's the end of Barome's tale. Yay. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next one, which will be, yes, we will save. All right, well, so what's next? Like I said, I'm, we're not doing the dungeon, so there is that. Uh, I did pick up a... Um, I did pick up the uh, Cursed Ring, or, or a couple of them, um, which would be cool if I was going after everything. But uh, next time, we're going to be diving into my least favorite character in the game. We're going to do Edward's Tale. All right, so until next time, adios, amigos. Charlie, okay? I almost fell. Don't fall. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. <laughs>